and welcome back to another Marvel Champions live stream. Today we're continuing on our exciting journey through the newest expansion, the Age of Apocalypse, with our new heroes against some new villains and all of that fun, exciting stuff. Now, real quick, we in in my area of Ohio, apparently there's a there's a pretty decent chance that the weather's gonna get really, really, really nasty here pretty soon. So if I go dark, if I just like randomly like uh, log off, it's not any, I, I'm not upset or anything. It's just that I lost power because I am expecting to lose power here within the next couple hours. That being said, we're going to go, we're going to play some games. I'm going to try and get at least two games in depending on the time. I'm going to be monitoring the weather because I do have to make it to the store so I can have some food uh, before the tornadoes hit, which I think it's going to be around like four today. Um, well, uh, I'm going to be monitoring the weather, but we're going to we're going to play some. But hello, Earth Twister. Hey, running. Hey, how's it going? Hello, Mark. Let's go. Exciting stuff. I'm really pumped. I'm really pumped. Uh I, I'm really excited to try Bishop. As I was saying, ever since we saw Bishop kind of announce that Bishop is one of those characters that I was excited to get to the table because I just don't have a conceptual idea of how he is going to play. Like, I, I understand the mechanics, but from a, is he going to be good? Is he going to be fun, interesting? I, I It was really hard to gauge because he seems like he's playing differently than most characters out there because he's dealing with how many resource cards you have in your hand. All right. So that being said, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running a kind of a modified pre-con. He came with a leadership pre-con. We're going to cut out a couple of the excess cards that we don't need. And we're going to be seeing what we can what we can mess with in the pre-con. So he comes with X-23 and Cable, which I, I absolutely love these types of characters and these designs. I'm really excited to see more of them. Got Marrow, Legion. And then the big one here is Psychic. So the entire archetype built, or this deck is kind of built around, is the Psychic archetype, where you attach to your identity-specific ally. We have Randall and Malcolm here. And they get a bunch of cool stuff, pretty much. It is <laughs> is, is the uh, basically what happens. Hey, Lucas, how's it going? How you doing? Um, we got the advanced suits, team training. I cut out the other team training. Actually, I have all the cards that I cut out right here. Um, oh, it looks like it was just team training from this pre-con. Add more more resource cards. All of the resource cards. Alrighty. Good morning, Ryan. How's it going? Hey, Wasteland. More resource cards. We got a lead from the front. This actually may be where I cut. This may be where I cut. We got suit up. I'm going to play suit up, mainly because that's kind of what the deck is built around. We got side by side, which we're going to keep. Power of leadership, strength, energy, genius. So those are the the cards that we're going to go. I don't. I'm not a huge lead from the front fan. So if we take out the lead from the fronts, let's see how many cards that has, and see if we need to add more resource cards. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So we have five cards. We have five cards to add. And so what are the resource cards that you like? We got like band together. We got innovation. Are we talking about those types of resource cards? Or are you thinking more like digging deep? I do want to play a digging deep build with Lucas. I feel like that'd be fun. We also have like the X jet, that kind of stuff. Digging deep. Alrighty, we got a lot of digging deeps. And then like a Oh be oh shoot, yeah, because we're discarding cards from energy absorption. Heck yeah. Well, okay, sick. Alrighty, let's go. Let's go. So digging deep is a card that states when you discard this card from the top of your deck, you add it to your hand. So with Bishop's energy absorption being able to discard a ton of cards from the top of his deck, after he takes any damage, you get Digging Deep. Alrighty, there we go. There's Digging Deep. Mansion to heal his... Oh, X-Mansion, yeah. Okay, so... 
So we got X Mansion to heal the Psychic. The Psychics can heal by themselves when they ready the side by side. Is that what it's called? Doesn't he already keep resource cards? He discards. He does. Um, and so I think White Fox is something fun. And then I'm thinking like Weapon X. Band Together does not have any printed resources. And so Band Together could work. Band Together could work. Do we go like call for backup? Or Beast? I feel like Beast would be pretty good. Oh, effective leadership. So, okay. So, if we take out Digging Deep, because he's already keeping... I feel like there is a build there. I feel like there is a build with Digging Deep, Gold Balls, um, Weapon X, that kind of stuff. Oh, Call for Backup? Yeah, Call for Backup. We have... Band together, power leadership, which we already have power leadership in there. Effective leadership and innovation. Another way to find his ally. Yeah, that's a good call. Um, I think I like Beast, just from the fact that he's going to grab you a resource card. And we were talking about X Mansion, which can heal our ally. If we have three health, team training bumps it up to four. Reinforced suit gets it to six. I don't know how much we're going to need to heal that ally. I'm not 100% sure how frequently we're going to need to do that. Because also when we make a basic recovery, we can heal the ally. Maybe, maybe we do. Maybe we do. I'm just wondering if we already have a lot of health and healing in the deck. And we want to kind of skew a little bit more towards the resources. Which are effective leadership. Do we have more than two copies of effective re leadership? I don't remember. But yeah, so this morning I was doing my, you know, morning coffee and doom scrolling. And pretty much all of TikTok is just like, you're going to die tonight from like the tornadoes and stuff. Which have a, I do have more than one effective, or more than. So, so that's going to be fun. I I grew up terrified of tornadoes and so <laughs> we'll see uh we'll see how tonight goes. Um all righty, so we got beast effective leadership call for backup. We have innovation which is some healing. I feel like that could work. And since we're going to be able to grab that innovation fairly frequently with the energy absorption, I'm wondering if if the one max one per deck is not going to be as bad there i do also like white fox i really do like white fox i'm gonna grab i'm gonna grab innovation and i think we're also gonna grab a white fox because we're discarding cards from the top of the deck we can that eye is in the wrong spot i actually got an e hey 17 sickles i actually got an email for severe weather back in richmond from the next door app oh really yeah. Yeah, they, <laughs> they were just like, you're, <laughs> you're, good luck living through the night is basically what my, my app told me. Um, <laughs> good morning. How's the new expansion? Uh, Seven Cent Pretzel. It is so good. It's, it's so, so cool so far. Now, that being said, I've only unboxed and played like one, uh, one of the scenarios and only magic. So we're playing Bishop for the first time. And I, I'm really excited to, to sink my teeth into Bishop. I think he's going to be a lot of fun going forward. We did say White Fox. So let's hop back over here for White Fox. I feel... Ooh, I'm so pumped for a... Maybe that's what we do with Magic. I think with... No, because Colossus is a character that wants to enter and leave play. So it's not really sidekickable. Um, I do like that adjective, though. Sidekickable. But I feel like I want to try a training danger or like a danger room training to Voltron to game time like craziness with uh, with sidekick. I feel like that's going to be a lot of fun Looking for White Fox Just playing dwarves now. Anything else? 
anything else that we're kind of looking for or interested in? We have... I, I'm kind of interested to see how... How how many um how many like like if if mutant education and that kind of stuff works where we're shuffling back in the resource cards um if if we need that like a mutant education type build utopia is always fairly good let's just run it like I feel like if we add too too much more we're gonna get a little bit too far away from the precon and I. This is uh this is gonna give us a fairly decent idea of what that precon is. We're gonna be playing Unis again with standard three expert one, which is what we played white or not white fox is <laughs> what we played magic yesterday, and so just to kind of get a normalized look at the two of them, I feel like this is gonna be pretty fun. Also, I really I I enjoyed Unis. I think Unis is gonna be. Um, not, not the best hero in the, or best villain in the game, the most fun villain in the game, but I feel like he's a fairly decent tester, right? So that's kind of what I'm looking for out of the first scenario in a lot of these boxes is like, how, how is, uh, how is this going to hold up against kind of running a deck against and seeing how it performs without messing with the scenario too much to the, to like the level that we need to start building our deck to combat the scenario and not highlight the hero and so i feel like unis is going to be one of those that's going to be pretty good at that okay so we are looking for a um a signature ally call for backup or something like that do you do you all have a favorite signature ally with lucas randall or malcolm that you like to sidekick my guess would be the the one I think it's Randall who is the higher thwart. I feel like that's gonna be probably better, at least in a solo, and then Bishop can use his his weapon and just damage comes more naturally than thwart removal, I think. Unis does have toughness. He starts with fifteen health. We start with twelve. Gene pool is a permanent setup. After an ally is defeated by anything other than consequential damage, place three threat here. And then hunting gene traders after resolving step one of the villain phase, place one threat on gene pool. Mulligan hard for his uniform. All righty. Will do. So we got six cards. Mulligan super hard for uniform. We got energy conversion. When an enemy attacks, shuffle each resource card in your discard pile into your deck. You cannot take more than three damage. You got energy. You got command authority. If you pay for this within a resource card, draw a card. We got X23. We got stored energy and innovation. We're going to toss innovation. That's going to heal an ally. We don't really need that. Um, I guess we could with like X23, but I'm going to take command authority off the table. We're going to take energy conversion out of the game. Or not out of the game. Out of the opening hand. I do like having the stored energy and energy. I finally got a live show. Hey, Colin. How's it going? Welcome. Well, I'm happy, I'm happy you're here. I'm happy you're here. And so if we are going to mulligan hard for the suit, do we toss one of these doubles? Is That that just seems so blasphemous. Like mulliganing a, a, a double in Marvel Champions. It just, it just seems like not... Not the move. <laughs> but there is a lot of resource cards in this deck, and so maybe maybe we do. Or do we just toss X-23? Let's toss X-23 and Mulligan into... Hey, Randall. There we go. There's Cable, too. Two, four. Bishop's uniform. Let's go. And a genius. Yo, this, this, is, this is pretty awesome, actually. All right. So Lucas has a response after you change to this form, add a temporal card in your discard pile to your hand. Perfect. Okay. We're going to flip up to hero form. After Bishop takes any amount of damage from an attack, discard an equal number of cards from the top of your deck. Add each resource card discarded this way to your hand. I also really want to do a toe-to-toe -to -toe build. Because you can... Ooh, actually... That may be what we build. Depending on... Depending on timing, that may be what we build. It's like a toe-to-toe -to -toe build, force a ton of attacks. 
and then energy absorption just go crazy that seems kind of fun all right let's use a stored energy to play a bishop's uniform so after you resolve bishop's energy absorption exhaust bishop's uniform heal one damage from bishop for each resource card in your hand we're going to Uh, we'll use Genius and Cable to play Randall. We're going to hang on to Energy because that's going to uh, heal with Bishop's Uniform. Randall will go ahead and thwart two here. He does have an action. After discard a resource card from your hand, ready Randall. That card has a printed lightning icon, heal one damage, and um, heal one damage from him. Toe-to-toe -to -toe with counterattack? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Bishop is going to go ahead and then knock the tough off here. Because now he doesn't have the retaliate. This is what I was doing. Okay, So let's stand up. We have five hand size. Got advanced suit. After an attached ally defeats a minion or a side scheme, discard one card from your hand. Heal one damage from the attached icon. Supercharged. Nice. Marrow. And power of leadership. Sweet. We're going to add a threat here. And then a threat to Gene Pool. We're going to take an attack from Unis. He's going to attack us for 2 plus a boost card. Let's just take it right to the face. Plus 2. That's going to be 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. After Bishop takes any amount of damage, discard an equal number of cards from the top of your deck. Add each resource discarded this way to your hand. 1, 2, 3, four and then we bishop's uniform to heal one two three four okay that's uh that's pretty sick actually that's that's pretty cool and now we have a lot of resources <laughs> which we have a sink that's the other thing that i think he will enjoy our sinks similar to like machine man or something that's why you want his uniform ASAP. <laughs> it, it's probably worth running like a uh, superpower training or something to, to grab it. Alrighty. Our encounter card is War Weary. You are stunned. If you are already stunned, take two damage instead. It's already working great. It's all coming together. Sick. Okay. It's now our turn. We're going to play Supercharged. We can, as an action, discard a resource card from your hand, place a charge counter here for each resource icon on that card. And then when you make a basic attack, we can discard Supercharged and we get plus two for the attack for each damage counter here, maximum plus eight. Now I just have to find the rifle, right? Yeah, because the rifle would be doing one, two, three, four damage now, which is crazy. Yeah, the rifle is very, very solid. I guess we will we'll toss a advanced suit on Randall. Let's use a energy to play Marrow. After Marrow enters play, deal two damage to an enemy. It's gonna be Unis one two. Bishop's just gonna go ahead and basic attack to remove the stun. And it's kind of interesting. I, I think there's more of a decision here of, do I want to sink these resources? Or are they better in my hand? I think at this point, they're better sunk because I'm still looking for a sidekick. But like if we had our board state built out, we can just toss all of these into supercharge and we have a fully powered supercharge ready to go. I'm going to actually use strength instead of energy to pay for that. Randall will go ahead and thwart two here. Oh, actually, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, instead of using strength to play for Marrow, I'm going to use power leadership and effective leadership. So Marrow has plus one, plus one. Marrow is then going to attack Unis for three. One, two, three. And then we're going to... Uh, 
I think we're just going to fully charge up supercharged. Okay, we'll stand up. We have five cards. Concussive Blast. Stored Energy. It's there, Psychic. Nice. Malcolm. And suit up. Bishop has choices to make. Yeah, I was thinking that it was just going to be... I'm going to sit here and hold on to all the resource cards. And then just heal forever and deal a significant amount of damage. Let's add one and one. Unis is going to attack. The decision here is do we let the attack go through? If we let the attack go through, we're going to take damage. We're probably going to heal a good bit of that damage, but we're going to be discarding cards. Are there any cards that I need? I don't really think there is. Team training would be nice to have, but since we have Psychic, I'm not 100% sure they need. I mean, that's not a bad plan. <laughs> um, let's, let's toss Marrow in front of this. We got two... After this activation resolves, place one Pursuit counter on Pursued by the Past. And then if we have four counters over here, our Nemesis comes out. Okay. And counter card is the Infinite Soldier Guard. The amount of threat on Gene Pool is at least 369. Then bad things happen. I'm just mad that it has Guard. That's annoying. Okay, we're going to use a suit up to play sidekick on Randall. So that's going to give plus two hit points, and now he's considered our sidekick. After you make a basic recovery, heal two damage from, from Randall. I think we're going to attack the infinite soldier for two. Randall is going to take him out, which gets rid of the guard, which is the main thing there. And then we're going to use a stored energy and Malcolm to play Concussive Blast to deal six damage to Unis. One, two, three, four, five, six. And since we paid for this event with a resource card, we get to ready Bishop. Isn't guard always fun? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and now that Bishop's ready... We have a supercharge. We can attack for 10, but Villain only has four left. And so I think instead. Oh, and Gene Pool actually has three more on it. Gene Pool has three more on it because we chump blocked. I wish supercharge had overkill. Yeah. Yeah. Same. So in that case, we're just going to thwart two here. And we should have taken a Retaliate because he does have Retaliate. I need to remember that Gene Pool dissuades chump blocking. Like, I don't think there should be a time where we chump block. I think we should just always take that, that hit. Concussive Blast. Advanced Suit. Oh, Randall, actually. Oh, we could have discarded a card from our hand to heal because he took out the Soldier. <laughs> Uh, side by side. Ooh, there's the side by side. Advanced suit. And Bishop's rifle. There it is. Let's go. All right. Got one here. One here. Unis is going to attack. We're going to take it right to the face. It's going to be four damage total. One, two, three, four. Hey, Deranged GJ. I'm doing good. How are you? Maybe you need to look at a hand cannon build. Ooh. Or uh, uh, marked. Where you can attach a minion and give overkill attacks to that. Busy, busy. Nice. Good busy or bad busy? I'm going to discard four cards because we took four damage. One, two, three, four. We take stored energy. And then we heal one. And counter card is War Weary. I am stunned. All righty. It's happening again. Okay. Let's use advanced suit, advanced suit to play Bishop's Rifle. 
We will exhaust Bishop's Rifle to remove the stun. Did you ever send out the giveaway? I don't believe I got it in the mail yet. No. Okay, so I I owe a couple of people emails. I there's a lot of stuff that happened, and the giveaway is just I have them right here. I but I need to. I'll send I'll send you an email. I'll send you an email after this. I yeah yeah. I'll send I'll, I'll send you an email because I want to talk to you about it. Um. So bishop's rifle remove the stun. Bishop will go ahead and no Randall will go ahead and thwart two here. We're going to use a sword of energy to play side by side. Oh wait, actually first Bishop is going to punch Unis for two. One, two. We're going to use sword of energy to play side by side. Ready your sidekick. And our hero and choose to either heal one damage from both characters or both characters get plus one plus one until the end of the phase we're going to heal one from each we have concussive blast in our hand the new expansion is really cool i'm, I'm actually enjoying bishop a lot more than i thought i would i feel like there's a lot of there's a lot more decision space here than I was expecting. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, oh, he's going to have toughness. Just kidding. I was going to say, like, we could push him and then have Bishop attack with a supercharge. But, yeah, no, I, I'm really enjoying the new expansion. Got to play Magic yesterday, Bishop today. It's, uh, it's, it's good stuff. It's really good stuff. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Bishop's going to go ahead and just push Unis. He's going to come in with toughness and 18 hit points. It looks pretty great. Are you planning on grabbing it? Are you planning on grabbing one? We'll go ahead and thwart two off of Gene Pool with Randall. We got a concussive blast. We're going to hang on to the concussive blast. Let's stand up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm very much enjoying it. Got a call for backup. Don't need that. Power of leadership. Side by side. And a suit up. Okay. Add one here and one to gene pool. Unis is going to attack us for three plus a boost card. We're going to take it, attach this card to an infinite minion. There is not any infinite minion, so we take three damage. One, two, three, and we're going to discard three cards. We got effective leadership, we got white fox, which goes into play, and we got supercharged, which gets discarded. We then will exhaust the uniform and look at one, two, and heal two. One, two. That's so much fun. That's so cool. Not for a little while. I don't have too much time to play. And my duo who I usually play with this is busy for the next month. Once our life show slows down, we plan on grabbing and grinding out. Nice. Good. Nice. All righty. That was fun. Yeah, I think White Fox works really, really, really well in Bishop. Uh, we got Drawing Near. After your turn begins, discard the top card of your deck. Place one Pursuit counter on Pursuit by the Pest for each printed resource icon on that card. Ah, it's an alter ego action. We can discard an identity-specific card from our hand to discard this card. I had a 44 card protection deck. I ran 14 resource cards in. Healing and rifle damage was insane. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Um, interesting. 14 resource cards. That's a lot of resource cards. <laughs> I got to go shower and get fitted for a tux. Oh, that sounds exciting. Best of luck in your stream. I'll keep up. Oh, cool. Awesome. See you around. Okay, so here we are. We are, I think, here to make a push. So let's go White Fox can take off the tough. Okay. Bishop is going to basic attack with a supercharged for 10. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down to eight. We got the rifle for two, one, two. This is wild, actually. <laughs> uh, we'll go suit up and call for back. Our Randall. Randall's about to die. Randall has one health left. Um, so I guess we'll we'll suit up, call for backup. It may, uh, whatever. Power leadership, effective leadership, and side by side plays concussive blast, which is lethal. I'm loving Bishop. He's super fun. Holy resources bet. <laughs> I want to see how many resources with too much. Still testing, but so far the sweet spot seems to be around 10 to 12 resource cards. It feels really cool. It feels really cool. I'm actually, I'm playing, I want to, I, I want to build that toe-to-toe -to -toe deck right now. And so instead of switching to magic right now, that was actually a fairly quick game. And so I think we have the time before the tornado comes and kills me to play Bishop again. And then we can get a magic game in. Just jumped in. Did you build them or is this a precon? It, it's it, I'm calling it a modified precon. Basically, I took the idea of the precon. I cut out I think like six cards, like the extra copies of team training and some of that stuff, and uh, added in a couple other cards. So yeah, so it's it 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 it's this it's the spirit of the precon, but it's not the straight up precon. I had a lot of fun with that. I had a lot of fun with that. I want to build the toe to toe deck. I feel like that's gonna be a lot of fun. I feel like toe to toe is the right way to go. But I mean like we have like bait and switch, right? Like we have other ways to initiate an attack. There's there's oh, there's taunt. I'm building a taunt deck. Holy cow, taunt sounds exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Taunt sounds pretty cool. Was there a reason I wanted aggression? No, let's just let's just go taunt. He is fun. Nice. Yeah. I'm glad uh, yeah. He 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 was he was way more interesting from like a decision making standpoint than I was expecting. Did I lose our Oh okay, I do have another supercharge in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab everything. Legion, after Legion uses a basic power, discard the top card of your deck. Yeah. I, I really like Marrow. Same effect as Taunt. Toe to toe. I finished the villains in the box last night. I think this box has great villains. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I I have not unboxed anything other than Unis. I do want to switch. I think I, I want to switch and play a different villain at this point. Um Unis, Unis so far has felt relatively easy, which I guess is kind of what you want for a out of the box or first out of the box villain. I ended up switching out Magic after Apocalypse One and played Angel with Bishop instead. I forgot how. I'm, oh, Angel's so so freaking good! It's crazy. <laughs> Dark Beast, Dark Beast. From a time perspective. Let's see. I, I want to. Uh, okay, fine. Yes, 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 yes. We'll do that. <laughs> um, okay, so that's going to go up there. The problem is I just, I don't know where Dark Beast is. Play Protection Angel. You get ready so much with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's fantastic. I like Fiddly, so I like Magic, but I like Bishop more. Interesting. I was I, I had a lot of fun with magic though. Magic was awesome. I think I'm gonna build her in a leadership today. I think that's kind of where I want to take her. I feel like she's gonna be really fun in leadership. It's apocalypse. Hey Dark Beast, let's go. Alrighty. Dark Beast, like his card looks pretty sick, actually. So we got Dark Beast, Dark Beast Journey. Blue Moon. Genosa, Savage Land, and Standard. One Modular saw Dystopian Nightmare. Dark Beast. Savage Land. Genosa. Blue Moon. 
Oh no, it's not all the blue moons. Uh oh. Find the blue moons. Blue moons! Let's go. Oh that that's really exciting. Is that the blue moon, Genosha, and Savage Lands SI Auto Play? Dude, that art is so cool. I really like that. I like dinosaurs. <laughs> okay. Unis, get out of here. We're going to be continue to play Standard 3 just because I feel like I haven't actually gotten a good look at what Standard 3 does. I feel like we haven't interacted with the Standard 3 cards too, too much. T Rex. He's fantastic. Uh, I think Magic is less fun two-handed because of the mentioned fiddly nature of playing her. I think she's interesting and good. I just didn't enjoy playing her because of the upkeep. I gotcha. That makes sense. That's fair. Dark Beast was really cool. I think the Four Horsemen was my least favorite in the box, but it's still good. Apocalypse 1 is probably your favorite. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. I'm excited to... I don't... Yeah. I think Dark Beast is the one that I am least familiar with in terms of game mechanics, just because when he his preview article came out, I didn't get to read it too, too in-depthly, just because I was traveling. He only has 13 cards. Yeah, it's a very, very small. Hello, everyone. Let's go. I got your copy last week, but you're new one. Oh, congratulations. Very difficult to find since a solo game takes so much time. Yeah. No, that's fair. Congrats on the newborn. That's really exciting. Boy or girl. We got Dark Beast. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and play expert. I ain't scared. I say as I tremble. In my boots. How's life in the natty? You getting tornadoes today? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of why we're we're going a little quicker than I would like to for through the stream. Because we uh Because we're I need to I need to at least get to the storm. Or get to the store. <laughs> get to the store before um, before all the tornadoes come in and kill me. So, I wanted to do a longer stream today, but it's looking like that's shaping up to be Thursday's stream. It's interesting how many one-stage villains they have. Pac-1, Pac-2, Dark Beast, Unis, Horseman for you? Alrighty, sweet. Be careful. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, that it's... It is looking pretty nasty. It's looking pretty, pretty nasty. Luckily, it says that like there's going to be thunderstorms. And the thunderstorms this morning just stopped. And it looks like there's going to be a little bit of time until about 1 p.m., which is about two hours from now, where thunderstorms are going to start back up. But then like all the nasty stuff starts around like 4, where it's like hail. They're describing it as like a uh, high chance of severe tornadoes and stuff like that. So... It's a girl. Oh, congrats. A few years back, I said I wanted a girl and wanted to be a family on Christmas. She was born. Oh, no kidding. That's awesome. Hey, thank you for the subscription, Cuerta. Thank you so very much. Subscription with Amazon Prime. Oh, that's. Oh, thank you so very much. And oh, a girl. It's twenty second of December. That what a what an amazing what an amazing Christmas. That's fun. I believe dystopian nightmare. Yeah, there we go. Is the mod set that we were already using standard three expert forgot about those do y'all think it do y'all think it's strange that we didn't get a uh expert three dystopian nightmare dystopian nightmare dystopian nightmare standard three Just got mutant genesis today, so AOA is only the box missing. Nice. How's uh? Are you are you diving into AOA? Or I'm sorry, into mutant genesis. I I like mutant genesis a lot. I'm gonna sneak peek here. Sick. Nice. Yeah, mutant genesis. Yeah, mutant genesis is a good box. Mutant. Gen I like colossus a lot. Downside of living in the UK is no new box. Oh yeah. Upside no tornadoes. That's fair. That's fair. Well, I'm going to take the box downstairs and protect it in the basement. <laughs> it's going to be uh, myself. My wife is traveling. She's out of the tornado zone, so that's nice. It's going to be myself, my cats, 
expensive electronics and the age of apocalypse marvel champions box is what i'm taking downstairs to protect <laughs> i think everyone already burned their expert two card so they didn't want to <laughs> that's fair <laughs> okay so let's build is dark beast like one of those when he attacks you resolve the special ability on the setting environment okay that's actually gonna be an annoying that actually could be potentially annoying i should say Discard the top three cards of your deck. Okay, let's uh let's just run with it. Um and see what happens. Expert three would have to be completely different. 100. It sounds like good priorities. <laughs> not really. There's a nice increase of difficulty for expert one, expert two. I wouldn't want it worse. I'm not sure they could split the difference. I, I would actually prefer kind of like a sidestep from expert one to expert three in terms of difficulty. I want those to be like the same level of difficulty, but I would like just like a, a variety shake up. It was a good offer from the German box, but I'm still here in guardians uh, with two people finding time. Sometimes our immune genetics will be next though. Nice. Enjoy. Yeah, expert three would have to be completely different. And like I, I don't think I want more challenge. I, I don't think that the I don't think I really want standard or expert to dictate or I'm sorry, standard two, expert two, standard three, expert three. I don't want that to increase the challenge rating necessarily. I would rather increase challenge rating with modular sets than I would with standard three. I would like standard three expert three and i think they did a good job with standard three to be sidestep difficulty and just shaking the game up so that that's just but <laughs> but who knows okay so we're gonna try taunt taunt is a protection card that the villain attacks you other characters cannot defend against this attack draw three cards so we're going to grab three copies of Taunt. Three copies of Taunt. I'm going to grab what doesn't kill me because we will probably be taking more damage than our suit can maintain. So Expert 3 is just five copies of Shadows. <laughs> Meant to say that I tried your problem solvers deck a few years back. Oh yeah, Starler and Cap Leadership. That card was knocking out 28 threat. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Momentum shift on what doesn't kill me. I definitely like what doesn't kill me. I'm not a I I I we we can put momentum shift in there. I'm just not a fan of momentum shift. I don't know what it is. I'm just like whenever I look at the card, I'm like, yeah, I don't like it. I know it's like good. Like it or it's mediocre, I guess, but like Yeah, I don't know. For whatever reason, I'm like, yeah. Med team for heals. Med team for heals. I was thinking of just going for symbiote suit. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking about just going symbiote suit. We have a lot of readies and bishops. And if we go symbiote suit, I think symbiote suit plus what doesn't kill me plus his uh, his armor. What are, What is it called? I just need to learn what it's called. His uniform. I think that's going to be enough health. I think Bishop like second win more. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I agree, Nelson. Momentum shift is generally a good card that never gets me excited. Yeah. Hey, Brent. How's it going? Yeah, it feels just it feels kind of generic, and maybe that it's just it's not an exciting card, right? Which is whatever. What did we say we were gonna? Oh, what doesn't kill me? That's it. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go somebody out. Because that sounds like too much fun to not do. Plus, someone who likes to ready so as much as Bishop likes to ready, I feel like that could be kind of fun. I find like I, I like to control and flip. Both Magic and Bishop have worked so much better for me when games where you flip. Alrighty. Don't you dare put digging deep in this deck. Why not? I was thinking about doing like weapon X. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put energy marrow white fox in there. Let's look at our 
resource cards. We got power protection, preservation, and defensive energy. We don't need defensive energy. Let's just go ahead and grab power protection and kind of skew that cost curve up. We also have what doesn't kill me, which power protection and what doesn't kill me are best friends. And so that's nice. Because it's going to be able to pay for it outright and then also hit that kicker. And so... Where's my power of protection? There's preservation. Sure, why not? Where do I put my power of protections? May have put them in the T's. Sometimes I'll do that. I usually put them in like the P's, but sometimes I'll put them in like the T's for the. Should we, should we run resourceful? I literally think a blank power of flight is better. At least it has a printed energy resource to heal. Ra <laughs> I'm a strong proponent of not using digging deep in Bishop unless you have like five other cards that could synergize with it. I gotcha. Yeah. I pulled out all my peas yesterday, that's why. There they are. Okay. Power of protection. Okay. It's two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, five. High cost cards and card draw. Let's go. So I think one of the things that we will probably look to add to most bishops deck is a mansion let's look at our i think let's go iron fist i with with taunt i still can't just take all the hits do you have lockjaw in there Ooh, lockjaw is a great call i think lockjaw and machine man are great calls yeah let's go ahead and grab Grab Lockjaw, Lockjaw, and Machine Man. But I also want to skew the cost up in green because we have the power of protections. We got Daredevil. Daredevil's always really decent. Lockjaw is always an auto include for Bishop. Sick. Nightcrawler. Why do I forget what Nightcrawler does? Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. Two, four, six, eight. Wait, two, four, six, eight. Ten. Warpath defends, play an event. Elixir attacks with thwart. Heal one damage from another friendly character. Let's go Nightcrawler for one. Let's go Armor for one. Any expensive cards over here? We could go med team. I think med team works, especially with like machine man. We want to keep machine man out. Played a copy of Power of Flight in your bishop. Just have one more resource card. I was happy to have it as a surprise. Devil play Starhawk and Vivian and Angel. Oh, nice. Nice. I want to play magic and protection. I have no idea what to do with bishop. So I'm so very curious about this. I'm, I'm, it'll be, <laughs> it'll be interesting, I think. <laughs> Um, actually, I forgot to look at superpower stuff. I don't, yeah, we have three, three superpowers that def focus. So probably not worth it. Oh, I did say we wanted a superpower training to get the suit. We go build support.
I do like Night Nurse. Dark Raven. I like that. It's a good call. Where's my Night Nurse? There she is. Perfect. I just don't think Bishop needs economy upgrades and supports. Just card draw. Yeah. Like, not necessarily resource generators. What about, like, Nick? I feel like Nick. You can't be the only one who thinks honorary cards would be so much more fun if having an ally from that team lets you play them. Yeah. I feel like they I feel like they probably just um feel like feel like that's just a whole other beast to try and balance. Jesco, how's it going? Thanks thank you. I'm happy to be back. It's so interesting watching you live. I normally work Tuesday mornings, but I have a late start. Cool to see how this discussion occurs when the deck slowly evolves. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. I'm so glad. Yeah. Nice. Do you always build a deck per game, or do you ever take a deck up against multiple? If I really like the deck, I'll play it multiple times, but a lot of the times, decks really don't stay together, unless I'm doing like a campaign. I think what I will do, honestly, through this campaign... How, how are the campaign rules? Like, because I really like the, the, the way that I've done it before where I play one aspect per villain for whatever reason. I just, I don't like playing the same deck over and over again. Nick is good. X is good for confused to flip down to use your alter ego. The issue I ran into last night with Bishop is I thinned my deck. I drew way too many resources and struggled to have outlets for them, which is where like Lockjaw, Machine Man, and Rifle comes in, I guess. I'm doing good. I'm doing well, Drasco. Yeah. To be fair, I might just say that versus my system day speaking to me, team outs were a big part of the Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Let's just grab Nick and X. And run at the 41. Be fine. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that would be tough to balance. And that would be my guess as to why it's not done that way. Taunts is interesting. Who are you building for first? So I did a magic and bishop, both kind of modified precon. And then bishop this is the first deck that I would say that I've done built for. It is a taunt built. Yeah. Can you discard more than one card to charge up bishop's charge attack card? Does anyone know? Yes. Yes, you can. Because you don't exhaust it. So you can just take the action multiple times. So it's not it's not like, oh, here it is right here. So discard a resource card from your hand. Place a charge counter here for each resource. So you don't do it like technically the way that it works is you're not discarding three cards. You're discarding a card, discarding a card, discarding a card, taking the action three times. I published your Bishop Leadership deck last night, focused on bringing out allies consistently, called Bishop and his Pawns. I think it was late, built to try and mitigate resource flood. Okay, nice. If power absorption causes you to have a hand of all resources greater than your hand size, do you have to discard down? No. You only discard... I think you... I think you only discard down... And you may not even discard. I think it's worded as you draw up to your hand size. So I don't think you ever discard down. There would probably be OP edges. Oh, it would be cool. It would be really cool. And it, end of hero phase, Brant, do you discard down or do you draw up to? It, it, you may discard. I just, I've never run into that problem. <laughs> uh, which I guess Bishop would probably be one of the first characters that would have to do that. Where if you're just hanging on to 10 resources, you do discard beans. That's fair though. Always thought you discard, but never happens for sure. Yeah, I it, it sounds like you do discard from running. That's what they're saying. So makes sense. Both for some reason, if you're over your hand size, <laughs> which like that does help Bishop. Like I think there's a huge strategy to just holding on to ten resource cards and just like rifling. Dark Beast has some health. Holy cow! Start with 18. Bishop starts with 12. Dark Beast Bogus Journey. Set the Blue Moon, Genosha, and Savage Lands aside. 
including those encounter cards and expert modes reveal the high-tech goggles attachment. High-tech goggles attached to Dark Beast. Exhaust your hero and resolve the special ability on the setting environment to discard this card. He has plus one scheme. Uh, if this stage is completed, the players lose the game. They won. Dark Beast. When Dark Beast attacks you, resolve the special ability on the setting environment. Reveal a random set aside environment and shuffle the rest of its encounter set into the encounter deck. Deal each player an encounter card. Okay. So we got Savage Land, Genosa, and Blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are going to the Savage Lands. All oh, the dinosaurs. That's actually pretty sick. I'm happy about that. Have to go now, but stay safe from those tornadoes. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Dark Beast looks so cool. I love the art on Evil Genius. Yeah. I I yeah. I'm 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 really happy with a lot of the art in this box. I think Apocalypse One is a little weak, but like I think Dark Beast looks sick. Like these are I think that's a really cool like piece of artwork there. So I, I'm I'm like I'm pretty happy with with all of this. Alrighty. Uh it said So the Savage Land. The villain gains retaliate one. Uh, discard the top three cards of your deck on a special, then when revealed, discard each other's setting environment in play. I, oh, these are going to be good. These are going to be good mod sets. Yes. I'm happy with these mod sets. This is what I'm talking about, right? Like, since we're getting these, we got the uh, Mr. Sinister mod sets. Those are how I would like to scale difficulty rather than Expert 3 being a step up from Expert 2. I want I want like the expert cards, the standard cards to be a side to side comparison in terms of difficulty and just shake them up like standard three and standard one. They're just different and then have cards like then have like mod sets like Savage Land and stuff like that. That really messes with it. I think that's going to be cool. All righty. So Dark Beast, when we're attacking, we're discarding the top three cards of our deck and hopefully getting. Uh, I feel like this could actually be a reason. To, to run digging deep we have a card that synergizes with it all righty what doesn't kill me power protection sword energy randall supercharged Taunt. Alrighty, I don't think I need supercharged this early in the game. Mainly because I want to find that suit. Or the uniform. The uniform. Taunt though is kind of interesting. Um We're gonna toss Randall as well. We're gonna mulligan three. Symbiote suit, that's a dangerous idea. What doesn't kill me? And a concussive blast. Oh, Sharpshooter would have been a good ad. Oh, does the rifle have ranged? Add another reason for digging deep. That'd be cool. <laughs> if you're not, if you're one of those dirty people who specifically builds decks for scenarios, that's the Lord of the Rings of me showing. Uh, let's go ahead and flip up. It also is oh 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 but the the uniform's temporal. Rifle has range? Sick. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. That's really, really cool. Huh. That's neat. Alrighty. Alrighty. Good stuff. Um, okay, so we are going to I'm going to use Symbiote to play Taunt. Beast is going to attack us for two. 
when Dark Beast attacks you, resolve special abilities. So we're going to discard the top three. We got Marrow, Mansion, Superpower Training. And then he's attacking us for two, four. One, two, three, four. Discard one, two, three, four. Okay. We will use Bishop. We will exhaust Bishop to get rid of the high tech goggles. We'll discard the top three. One, two, three. So those goggles are gone. But then we're going to use power protection to play what doesn't kill me. So we get to stand up, heal two. One, two. I feel called out. <laughs> um, Bishop will go ahead and punch Dark Beast for two. One, two. We take Retaliate one. We use Stored Energy, Stored Energy to play Concussive Blast to deal six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We take one. We get to ready Bishop. And then we'll punch for one, two. We'll take one. Down to seven. All right. I mean, 11 or uh, 10 damage turn one. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Stand up. We got Lockjaw. Energy Conversion. Oh, sick. Concussive Blast. What doesn't kill me? Daredevil. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm. Yeah, that 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 uniform is so good. <laughs> yeah, Bishop Bishop is gonna love Cable. Cable can grab superpower training, get him that uniform real quick. Oh, that'll be a fun. That'll be a fun team up. Maybe I'll do a two handed. Doing those two, that sounds fun. All right, let's add one. Dark Beast is going to attack. We'll resolve special. We got one, two, three. Then Beast is attacking. That was the force interrupt. We resolved that first. We're going to play energy conversion. When an enemy attacks, shuffle each resource card in your discard pile into your deck. That's crazy. <laughs> Bishop is so powerful. He really is, yeah. He doesn't need cable. He can essentially get himself from his alter ego ability. If, assuming that you haven't discarded it, or you haven't lost it like me. I missed a power. I thought, I thought there was two. Did I go back and find it? I think I went back and found it, right? It's crazy that it has no two or three card limit. Yeah. I thought that with Bishop and Cable, the fun thing I thought is flipping to Alter Ego with Bishop to use his recursion ability and have Cable body slot. Yeah, that'd be sick. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. So I can take no more than three damage from this attack, which is actually like I thought that was like, oh, that's a nice little thing, but it's also like kind of a hindrance, which is funny. Okay. So we're getting attacked for two. After this activation resolves, put a pursuit counter. So we take two damage. We'll discard White Fox. Nice. And power protection. Sick. Actually, very nice. That was perfect. Heck yeah. All righty. Uh, encounter card is nowhere safe. Put one pursuit counter on pursuit by the past. Then if it has any counters on it, discard an upgrade or support you control. Joke's on you. I don't, I don't build. All right. We're at seven. Heart of the cards. My grandfather's deck has no bad cards. Um, let's go ahead and Bishop to attack Dark Beast for two. One, two. Do you trigger Savage Land? Only one time. Only, only the one time that he attacked us. Yeah, I did it. I did it before I played Energy Conversion. Uh, and then we take one. 
White Fox is going to attack and take two damage. When Beast attacked? Yeah, I did. I was wondering how that works. So you don't actually take damage, but you do discard when you are hit? Yes. I was wondering how that works. So you don't actually take damage. You do. You take the damage. Are you, are you talking about four energy conversion? You cannot take more than three damage from this attack. So, like, basically, if you took 15, you would take three damage, discard three cards. Yeah, so, Steven, there was... I talked a lot in between when I did that ability and when I when I proceeded. So it was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's use power of protection to play what doesn't kill me. That's going to stand up and heal too. Let's use lockjaw and concussive blast to play daredevil. Daredevil is going to thwart two there. We'll go ahead and poke Dark Beast for two. And we'll flip down, shuffle a temporal card. They're actually... Uh, oh, nice. The allies are temporal. That's actually really nice. Do we have any temporal that are not in his kit? Are they and not... Uh, not from the encounter sets. Uh, let's grab Randall. Oh, we get to add it to our hand. That's cool. All right, let's stand up. We got six cards. Rifle. Stored energy. Taunt to four. Genius, five. Power protection. Two, four, six. We'll go one. Beast is going to scheme for two, four. I played that wrong before and shuffled the card into my deck. It, it seems like it should be. Like, it, it just like from a lot of the other characters that they play, it feels like it should be a shuffle in. But adding it to your hand is pretty awesome. Our encounter card is... Test your Dark Beast. Exhaust your hero and result the special ability on the setting environment to discard this card. Um, attach this card to Dark Beast. He has plus one attack. I'm liking Dark Beast. I, I'm enjoying Dark Beast. I think Dark Beast is uh, really interesting. Okay. We have seven health. I think I'm going to go ahead and... I think I'm going to heal because i think i'm playing taunt here let's go ahead and heal for four one two three four let's flip up the bishop um we use a genius to play the rifle he has three health let's use randall to play taunt and he's going to attack us for three plus a boost. We're discarding three cards. Stored energy. Energy. Bummer. At least it's not the, the suit. He's attacking for three. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to discard stored energy. Bishop's uniform. Three. Four. Five. And this is why we like Lockjaw. <laughs> hey, hey, how's it going, Static Noise? Unique fight so far. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with it. Um, I want to shuffle my deck. I lost my uniform. That was horrible sequencing. Boo, Nelson. Boo. Oh wait, hold on. I guess I get to draw three cards. I never drew the cards. Okay. Nick X and Night Nurse, encounter card. I I I do that all the time where I'll play Taunt and then just not and then forget like do everything and forget to like draw the cards. Uh, 
I am really enjoying the standard three set. Um, I feel like I haven't interacted with it too, too much, but I, I am enjoying, I am enjoying it. Yes. What happens when we flip dark beast? Be all random set aside environment and it just gets more schemey. You thought you drew the cards because you did. Oh, I did draw the cards. Oh, because of the energy absorption. Yeah. I drew three cards from energy absorption. <laughs> He's got three left. We have a rifle for one, two, three, four, five. I guess we'll just rifle him. No, do we want to rifle him for five? Eh, from Bishop, yeah. <laughs> His turns just continuously go, which is kind of it, which is kind of fun. Um, all right, let's go White Fox and Daredevil to hit Beast for two. Or actually, I'm sorry, no, White Fox will hit him for one, which is going to knock White Fox out. I'm trying to I'm trying to cheat the system so I can get a bishop's rifle. It's just not it's just not working. Fine. We'll rifle beast into stage three. Comes in with twenty two. Okay. And then reveal a random set aside. So we'll go even odd. Even. We've got Genosa. The villain gains steady. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> Place one threat on the main scheme on the special. Discard each other environment in play. I like these settings. I like these settings a lot. Um, this is... I, I'm, I'm really happy that we got these. Deal a random set aside and shuffle the rest of the ink. Okay, sweet. Deal each play. I forgot to deal myself an encounter card. Turn one. So the game is null and void. White Fox is still out there, actually. Alrighty. These get shuffled into the deck. Yeah. Oh, actually, I should deal myself an encounter card after I shuffle these. And he no longer has retaliate, which is nice. I yeah, I like the I like the settings. The settings are really good. Settings are really really good. I would almost play, almost be able to use these even not with the entirety of the mod set. Just go like, play with just Savage Lands. One thing about using the settings in other places are the specials won't really trigger often without Dark Beast's ability, so it's more just static on them. Oh, that's true. I would, pro I would probably house roll it so that when they attack. I Yeah. But yeah. No, yeah, totally. All righty. White Fox is here with two damage. Sword and Energy and Strength is going to play Nick. We're going to draw four card, or three cards. One, two, three. Sick. Preservation and Stored Energy are going to play Concussive Blast. Deal six damage to Beast. One, two, three, four, five, six. We did use a resource card, so we get to ready. Mutagen formula with blue moon setting. All minions gain guard. Oh, unsubscribe. No, thank you. That's crazy. Sounds sounds fun. We should do it. <laughs> He's at 16. 
Um. Let's go ahead and use Night Nurse Power. Uh, let's. White Fox is going to attack for one. Command Authority, Night Nurse, Power Protection. You know what? You know what? No, we're going to go ahead and attack for two. One, two. Take him down to 13. Then we're going to play X, and we're going to ready Bishop here. Instead of confusing, since he has steady. Bishop and Nick will attack for one, two, three, four. Takes him down to nine. X is going to thwart three here. And Daredevil will thwart two here. All right, he's at nine. No, Daredevil's going to attack these for one. Because then a a basic attack and a uh, stored energy or concussive blast wins us the game. We have energy conversion. We have six out. We're going to keep energy conversion. We'll stand up. They trigger off other cards in this set. True. Yeah. I think if I used them just as like without the set, maybe. Steve! As soon as I get my box, that's what I'm doing. Love me a challenge. Nice. That's exciting. Bishop is such a star. He's super powerful, but also different from every hero in the game, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, definitely feeling that. Nightcrawler. And another energy conversion. Machine Man. Sword energy. Power protection. We'll grab one here. Dark Beast is going to attack for three plus a boost card. We'll toss X in front of it. Plus one. We got encounter cards. Uh, Pterosaur. Resolve the special ability on the setting environment. It's going to add one. And actually, we need one more from when he attacked. Because he resolved special. Land out of time. If the Savage Land is in play, resolve its special ability and take one indirect damage for each resource icon on the discarded cards. Otherwise, find the Savage Land and reveal it. Oh, that's cool. So this reveals. Uh, the villain gains retaliate one. Alrighty, that's cool. I like that. Where's Miss? Mar When's Miss Marvel vid coming? So I think I have Jason's coming out on Thursday and yours coming out next week, next Thursday. And we've got Armored Unibike. Uh, armored Unibike engages the player with the escaped mutant attached if able. After the Armored Unibike attacks, resolve the special ability on the setting environment. Allies defending for bishop. That's not kosher. <laughs> Prance was giving me crap last night for defending. But I don't have my I don't have my uh I don't have my uniform yet. So like if I had my uniform, absolutely I'd be taking hits, but I, I've I've just not missed I've just not hit my uniform. Alrighty, so he's at eight. Got four, six, eight, six. Okay, so rifle will hit for one, two. Energy conversion nightcrawler will play machine man. We'll attack with machine man with three. So that's four. One, two, three, four. Infectious zombie! Thank you for the subscription. Woo! Nice. Thank you so very much. 15 months. That's crazy. Hey, Scott, how's it going? Bishop's whole game changes when he gets his uniform 100%. I can just see Bishop running naked into battle. <laughs> uh, and then Bishop's going to finish him off. So even without the uniform, we skated through Dark Beast. That that was, I don't, like, I mean, it, it was, I don't, I don't feel like that was a super big challenge. Bishop seems pretty strong. He seems pretty, pretty freaking good. So that, that's fun. Um, 
I'm going to, yeah, I, I really like that. I think Lockjaw, Machine Man, just outlets for the resources are really strong. Bishop has crazy good damage. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did really enjoy Dark Beast. I think I'll probably play Dark Beast again with the magic deck that we're going to build. Um, I'm going to, well, I guess I'm going to go to the B right back and just check the weather. I think it should be fine. They said everything was going to be fine until like one. So I think we can actually get in an extra game today, which is pretty exciting. Um, no, I, I, okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm enjoying Bishop a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I'm, I'm pretty pumped to sink my teeth into Bishop more. Cause I feel like he's going to be one that's just going to have just like huge variety of deck builds. Sweet. Alrighty. I'm going to go to the B right back. I'm going to get magic. Sorry. Magic set up. And I think we'll probably run a leadership deck in magic and, and see where that takes us. But that is what's coming up. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you all very, very, very soon. Hey, hey, hey. All righty, we are back. We're going to be playing some magic against Dark Beast. 
so that's kind of what is where we're going where we're going i think i well i want to run a leadership build i think with magic's ability being able to play the top card of that deck for one less it's going to lean into you know getting allies onto the table fairly easily and so i'm pretty exciting i'm pretty excited about that the tornado is right next to him the whole time beast no hey how's it going 22 months incredible how you doing it's been a while it really has been almost two years that's crazy yeah jasko yes magic to me my x-men heck yeah and uncanny x-men so like we're gonna just play all of the x-men for no cost no cost whatsoever and so that that's kind of how i envision the deck going i also think that a strength in numbers could be kind of exciting just because i think we're going to be getting a lot of x-men in there but i'm pumped we also have access to like all the really cool um mystic stuff with magic which includes the summoning spell which is pretty sick which actually we may not need summoning spell unlimited allies unlimited power yes all righty so i'm gonna build into the leadership we have spiritual meditation we have our doubles where's my last spiritual meditation we have sorcerer supreme we have blood gym and i'm not 100 percent sure if we're gonna run basic spill or not so i'm gonna leave these out but these are these are gonna go in there I en I'm enjoying Blood Gym more than I thought I would, which is kind of fun. Um, oops. So we're just going to grab the X-Men. We're just going to grab all the X-Men. All of the X-Men. Maybe not all the X-Men, but a lot of the X-Men. We got Pixie. Uh, Beast. Gotta put my there we go. I like Blood Gym. Blood Gym is, yeah, Blood Gym's fun. Blood Gym is fun. Uh, we'll grab Legion. Beast. Oh, oh, Cable and X-23, X-Force. Dang. Two damage for one resource seems like not a good trade. Why do you like it? Uh, thank you, Catastrophic, for the subscription. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Hey, welcome. Thank you so very much. Uh, two damage for one resource is not necessarily good trade you can flip it on its head and you want to get two healing out of one resource and so in that sense i guess it's an okay trade it's a very fast card and that's i think that's where the ability comes in is that if you put it onto the table it's one extra resource if you need it when you can get it for zero cost and so it's like it's very fast very easy to get and you don't have to use it so therefore it's also a really good target for like cut off guard so um a couple it, it's it's not something that i'm using every single turn and it's probably not the most efficient trade but how quickly you can get it out and how impactful it can be especially if you're running a ton of allies and you're going to just chump block the entire game what else are you using your health for um so yeah got mirage probably not going to work here Havoc. When Havoc attacks, discard the top of the card in the encounter deck. It's no resource. <laughs> You're right. It's not a resourceful, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, let me grab Professor X. Marrow. Marrow is a X Force ally. That's interesting. Oh, X Force or X Men though. X. <laughs> so yeah, face value on the card. Gonna make Colossus your psychic? I don't think so. I think Colossus wants to enter and leave play too much, um, and so I'm actually just not even using psychic this this go around. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We got Angel. We've got. Forge. We'll grab X Jet. I do like Colossus. I can't run him though, so that's sad. We're gonna grab to me my X Men. 
I may I may just be being too too gatekeepy of what X Men I'm putting in this deck. I may just want to go crazy and throw it on there. Resourceful is low key decent for magic. Wild resource icon free off it. That's fair. I forgot that it's free. It, it like it it you're banking it right. X Mansion. I think so. I think X Mansion works. Especially with Forge. Uh, we need a, to me my X-Men. We're going to grab Treskelion. We're going to grab Utopia. Um, is that too many ally slots? It'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? To me my X-Men. X-Men Instruction. I think so. I think, I think we'll go X-Men Instruction. Yeah. X Gene. How many? Oh, the super. Uh, X. She does have actually a decent, a really decent amount of events. I feel like X Gene could work. Um, let me. What was it that I was looking for? Uncanny X Men. That's right. What does that put us at? Two, four, six, eight, ten. We have three cards left. X-Men Instruction is going to be one of those. Or three of those. Mutant Education. Um, I think I'm going X-Men Instruction over Mutant Education. I don't necessarily know if I want both of them. Just because it starts to get a little, little weird. But since we're running to me my X-Men. I want to put the X-Men allies back in the deck. Over kind of her signature cards. She also has a lot of ways to kind of recur her signature cards. And so I, I think X-Men Instruction is a little bit better in this in this sense. Go Gentle. Let's just grab Gentle. Let's just grab Havoc. I'm just going to grab the X-Men and just go for it. X-Men Instruction. Uh, for some reason, I like completely forgot what that card was. And then I was like, I can't. What am I looking for? I like how in X-Men Instruction, Wolverine looks like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the uh, It's always sunny meme. <laughs> it, it is true, though. <laughs> like, why don't. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> red tape. Or red red string and everything. Let's, let's run without basic spell. Two, four, six, seven. Just because I want to try it without basic spell. I'm going to try it without step forward. Should we go storm here? Or just, just, just call it good with what we got? So summoning spell, I th think maybe I I was all in on summoning spell and then nah screw it we'll just we're just gonna run it <laughs> let's just do it um nice okay feel like that's probably pretty good we'll call for backup. Let's just ship it. Does she? Uh, let's actually grab build support. I think she will want to build support. She can grab limbo early, but also her obligation. Or no, her shadows grabs limbo. But also build support can get our... Um... What am I? What am I trying to say? Our uh, um, X Mansion. Jeez. Okay. Hey, hey. Why do you put stickers on the card? Yeah, yeah. They go back in the binder. Thanks. We have to pull out all of the mod sets. Savage Land, Genosha.
I think I'm just going to force the choice to be the one that we haven't seen for the initial for the initial uh mod set. Just go to blue moon. Two, four, six, seven. Dang. I'm uh, missing Savage Land. That's actually, it's the card Savage Land that I'm missing. Which I put somewhere. <laughs> Two, four, six, seven. Same thing there. Oh, they're there. Okay. So I think we're just going to choose this randomly just because I want to see it. So we got the blue area of the moon. Each minion gains guard. Deal one damage to your identity on the special. Ooh. Kind of mean. We got the all of these guys in there. So did Dark Beast, like in the comics, go to a, just a ton of different places, which is why it's thematically tied with like different areas. Dark Beast was really difficult to me. That Savage Land environment is rough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So each minion gains guard. Dark Beast is going to come in with 18. And then we're going to come in with 10. Oh, build support also grabs on Kenny X-Men. Yeah. Heck yeah. Build support's great. Dark Beast pursued by the past. When he attacks, we're going to deal a damage to our identity. All righty. I'm so excited about magic. I I think, I think I still like magic more right now. Just all out of the gate to Dark Beast or not Dark Beast to a Bishop, but I I think Bishop Bishop was a bigger surprise to me. Can't wait to throw in Sauron with Savage Land. Yeah, <laughs> nice. All right, so we want Limbo. We want. Well, I guess uncanny is the is the big thing, right? So, to me, my X Men probably with with like the team cards. I typically like to run like the honorary, so it's like I think it would be nice to have an honorary X Men in here just so that those abilities are still turned on when she flips down to alter ego. But here we are. We got to me my X-Men. We got Magic Barrier. We got Stepping Disc. We got X-Men Instruction. We got Sorcerer Supreme and Spiritual Meditation. So let's keep those. Well, Mulligan three. Soul Strike. Limbo. There it is. And a build support. Let's freaking go. I also really like the fact that you can to me my X-Men off the top of your deck for free. Magic really slows down my rate of play. It's really fun for me, but I need to pray. Yeah, it seems like she feels like Domino to me, where like Domino is just like a lot, and there's there's a lot going on with Magic, which I which I like. But um, so we can choose a spell card in our discard pile and put it on top of our deck. Which can be spiritual meditation. All right, let's use spiritual meditation. Draw two, energy, soul strike, discard one. We'll discard a soul strike. Let's flip up. When I change to this form, I can put a spell on the top of our deck, which is going to be. Stepping or not stepping this magic barrier mainly for that physical resource. So we'll flip up. We got magic barrier there We'll use energy to play soul strike to deal four damage What's a just deal me encounter card and we need high-tech goggles Okay Need to do all the setup. I was like, oh wait, hold on Yeah, okay, so we need those goggles Which actually was the, the card that I dealt myself. <laughs> Magic is harder. Domino, you can learn the loops and often repeat them. Magic reminds me more of Psylocke in terms of thinkingness. Yeah. Gotta go sort my kids' dinner. 
Take it easy and stay safe. Alrighty, thanks for hanging out. Okay, so we're gonna soul strike Dark Beast. One, two, three, four. We have a physical resource. So we're gonna stun Dark Beast. Okay. We're gonna use Ugh. build support to play Limbo. We'll use Limbo to swap Magic Barrier with Sorcerer Supreme. We will use her ability to play to me, my X-Men, to play Sorcerer Supreme. We're going to hang on to Magic Barrier. We're going to attack Dark Beast for two. One, two. Hey, Roland. How's it going? How you doing? I love that pretty much every hero interrupt is optional now. I played Groove for the first time yesterday, and yikes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fair. We got Magic Barrier. Uh, when a enemy initiates an attack, prevent three damage. We're going to toss this because he's done. Flip your... Yeah. Sweet. We got X-Men Instruction. Spiritual Meditation. Genius. Mystical Armor. And a Strength. I feel like I'm playing Bishop now. X Mansion, let's go. Oh, wait, no, we get six cards. Utopia, let's go. <laughs> uh, I'm going to I'm gonna not use Limbo at this point. I don't think that there's any reason to necessarily do that. I'm going to go one here. He is stunned. We got two encounter cards. The first one being Evil Alliance. Each Nemesis minion play activates against you. No minions activate this way. He plays three counters. There's Shadows of the Past, turn one, basically. Hunted, Alter Ego Action. Discard a card from your hand to discard this card. It has one extra encounter card every phase. Alrighty. Um, let's use it. Seven cards in hand. God, I love Marvel Champions, right? <laughs> right? Um, let's go ahead and use her ability. X-Men Instruction to play Utopia. Top card is now Pixie. Which we don't have... We don't have an ally in our discard pile. But we do have a Spiritual Meditation. And draw Pixie and Forge. Heck yes. And we can discard Pixie. Actually, we could discard Forge. And then we can get Forge back, which is pretty sick. Top card is going to be Legion. Let's use Strength to play Pixie. Actually, hold on. Before we do this, let's use Magic to go ahead and attack Dark Beast for 1-2. We will go Strength for Pixie, which is Utopia going to ready Magic. Pixie, we're going to go grab an X-Men ally, which is going to be Forge, and put him into our hand. Um, Pixie is going to thwart one here. Let's go Genius to play X Mansion. We will go ahead and we'll thwart for one here. Let's flip down to Ileana. X Mansion is going to heal Pixie. I'm going to discard Forge from my hand to get rid of Hunted. We're going to hang on to Mystical Armor. We'll stand up. I like magic. Stepping disc. Nice. There we go. Gentle. Give me my uncanny. Trust Galleon. To be fair, I did toss build support. Hey, sub sub magic leadership. Yes. Running. Spiritual meditation. No, yeah. You just have to have the mystic trait. 
That that's the qualifier for it. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna add one. Dark Beast is gonna scheme for th three. And I needed to take a damage actually because no, he didn't he never attacked. He never attacked. I'm sorry. Uh he's gonna scheme for three plus three is six. That's less than desirable. That's at seven out of ten now. Cool. And then cruel experiment. Attached minion gets plus two hit points and gains guard. Discard cards from the attack uh top of the encounter deck until you discard a minion. Reveal that minion and attach cruel experiments to it. So we got Earthquake. Teamwork, Imperial Guard. Exhaust your identity. If you're already exhausted, resolve the special. So we're going to exhaust and get this. Gross. I dislike that. That is not fun. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Admittedly, I don't have it in real life, so I'm probably not the best. <laughs> Alrighty. When you change the hero form, choose a spell in your discard pile and put it on top of your deck. Go Soul Strike. I need to take out Earthquake, right? So. That's probably my best path to doing that. Um, yeah. So we'll flip up. We're going to interrupt the flip up with a soul strike. We'll go ahead and use the ability and play Legion. To go soul strike to deal four damage here. And then oh, it doesn't ooh, we got uncanny though. Uh okay. Let's limbo to grab uncanny with a Trescalion. Um, I really want to play Stepping Disc, but don't think that's going... I, I need to get Uncanny X-Men. Then I can save Pixie. Pixie can then take a hit. Um, so I think that's the, the route that I'm going to go. Probably thinking of Meditation. That requires Alter Ego. Yeah. Okay, so we also have... We also have Exorcism that we should probably play. Um, because that's a lot of threat. I'm going to hang on to Stepping Disc. We're going to toss these three for Uncanny X-Men. Pixie is going to take out Earthquake. Pixie has two damage now. We're going to hang on to Stepping Disc. And hope we don't draw a Vance. Treskelion. Havoc. X-Men Instruction. Crown. Scrying. Top card of the deck is Spiritual Meditation. We'll leave that. Okay, let's add one. We're going up to eight. Dark Beast is going to attack us for two. We're going to take a damage when he attacks us. Um... Yeah. Defend. Two plus two. There goes Pixie. And then we take a one damage. Counter card is drawing near. After your turn begins, discard the top card of your deck. Place one pursuit counter on pursuit by the pass for each printed resource icon on that card. Discard an identity specific card from your hand to discard this card. Alrighty, well that's not great. Um, cool. Let's go ahead and limbo to swap spiritual meditation with havoc. 
We use magic. No, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we do that, spiritual meditation is still there. We've got uh, Triskelion and X-Men Instruction are going to play Magic's Crown. Magic is going to thwart for two here. Because Magic's Crown. Then we will limbo Spiritual Meditation for Havoc. Stepping Disc and Spiritual Meditation will play Havoc from the top of our deck. There's Colossus now sick. Okay, that's great. That's actually really great. Havoc comes in. We're going to Utopia to Ready Magic. And then Magic still has a Wild, meaning that she has plus one thwart, which is pretty great. Nemesis time. Yeah, it is. It really is. I'm not... I don't think there's any way that we're saving that Nemesis, so... Um... We could we could get rid of it. Um, we may try doing that. He's gonna scheme. We can thwart for three, which would take it down to three. He's gonna scheme for three plus a boost card. So there's, I mean, we're we're an advance away from losing. I think regardless. But I do like the idea of pulling Colossus out. This. Oh, but we're going to lose Limbo when the Nemesis comes out, which is annoying. Oh, I forgot about that. I think we're... Yeah, okay. So this is what we're going to do. No, we're not. Because the advance... The advance just pulls this. So instead, we can just get rid of drawing near. I think be fine. So we're going to thwart for two. Havoc's going to thwart for one. When he attacks, discard the top card of the encounter deck. For each boost icon, he takes that consequential damage, which is zero. And Dark Designs. Nice. So, zero. Down to three. I'm going to flip down to Alter Ego. We're going to discard an identity-specific card from our hand. Discard this card. <laughs> X-Mansion will heal me for one. Okay. Hey, friends. Happy to catch the stream. It's usually late for us in Europe. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're here. Yes. Nice. I'm really enjoying this. This is fun. All right. Let's Colossus face down. Don't look at Colossus. We're going to stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Stepping disc, Colossus, Beast. Let's go. Summoning spell. X-Jet and Soul Sword. Is leadership the best for her? Ooh, that I don't know. I have not I've only played her in leadership and basically the uh aggression pre-con leadership seems pretty good just from like a to me my X-Men and an uncanny X-Men like sense seems pretty good. So All right, we're going to add one. Beast is going to scheme for 3. After its activation resolves, place one pursuit counter on pursuit by the pest. No. Okay. So there goes that. And then do we just lose? I don't know the nemesis set, actually. I guess I probably could have limboed something. I guess I, I will have limboed Colossus into Exorcism because it's not an ult, it's not a hero. Alrighty. So now this is coming in. Okay, no. It is villainous, so there is we probably do lose actually. Let's just I guess this comes in. Okay. After he activates against you, discard the top three. Oh, he's one hundred percent we lose. Yeah. Havoc is a fun ally, yeah. I've not been keeping up with since Marvel Champ. Is the is this box out? Yeah, yeah. It came out on um Friday. Came out on Friday. If you're in the U Yeah, that's true. It got delayed in the UK. And then we yep, there's a loss. Alrighty. 
Um, I want to run that back. I want to run that back. What time is it? Hmm. It is noon. Okay, we're gonna play. We're gonna play a little quick. Play play a little bit quicker than normal. Because I do have to go to the store. All right. Yeah, pulling pulling out your nemesis minion during a boost activation is brutal. Hey, how's it going? Nice to catch you live and watching all your videos to learn all the LCGs. Oh, I'm so glad that they've been helpful. Happy that you're here. Oh, it's delayed until in Canada as well. Huh. So someone has a deck using the hold Hulk aggression ally swinging for three, just top decking a physical resource for two more damage. Oh yeah, for magic, sick. Round two, fight. I think I think uh Dark Beast is a lot of fun though. Alrighty. Blue Moon. Blue Moon is fun. I just think of like the beer. But I mean like Oh, there we go. Okay, there's that. We start with one. Round two. And let's uh let's go ahead and figure this out. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six. We got blue moon again. All right, yeah. So I think like the Hulk aggression ally is really interesting with uh, magic. I think Cosmo is really interesting with magic. I feel like Cosmo probably should be in the deck. Just you can cycle into something, right? Like if you have a mental and you really need a physical, Cosmo at least can cycle into it. You can go energy spear on Cosmo too. Can you play energy spear if you aren't a guardian? I think you can. You just have to attach it to a guardian ally, right? But I, we got to interact with the Shadow of the Past. Cosmo from Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> Cosmo, a good boy, an honorary X-Men member. That's true. I forgot that Cosmo is not an X-Men, so it probably doesn't work in this. But you could throw honorary X-Men on him, which would be kind of fun. <laughs> All right. So we got six. Three, six. Magic Barrier, Beast, Limbo, to me my X-Men, Soul Strike, and to me my X-Men. We're going to toss Magic Barrier. We're going to toss to me my X-Men. Maybe not. Yeah. And so the way that I envision this going is I play Limbo. I use Limbo to swap Beast in for to me my X-Men. I use to me my X-Men to draw into Beast, which helps me play Soul Strike. Cosmo and Lockjaw are always good boys. The goodest of boys, yes. Exorcism and a Colossus. All right. So I'm going to flip to Hero Form. I'm going to choose Magic Barrier to put on the top of my deck. Exorcism will play Limbo. Actually, I'm not going to choose Magic Barrier. I'm not going to choose Magic Barrier. I'm just not going to. As Soul Strike. Alrighty. Well, that's kind of interesting. Um, let's use...
let's see, sorry i have to think a lot <laughs> and so i like to try and narrate what i'm doing but it's like this is this is not the least brain burning game i've played um so i want to have it would be great if i could i'm going to go ahead and exhaust my hero take a damage to get rid of the goggles I'm, so my options here is I can limbo swap beast to me my X-Men and get beast, right? Or another X-Men ally or another X-Men ally. I could use like soul strike to play soul strike, deal the four damage, and then do the same thing. I just lose Colossus, but I can also potentially get a stun and it's a roll of the dice it's a roll of the dice at that point which i think i'm okay with right if you play soul strike or or actually you can use colossus now nah, this is i think this is what you do right use colossus to play to me my x-men which grabs beast which then you can play soul strike from it, yeah it just doesn't work it just it, it's it's too we're we're top decking. We're we're trying to find a physical resource or a wild resource, I guess. Um, but it's just not it's just not working. We could ignore beast and swap to me my X Men and just play to me my X Men for free and hopefully we top deck something. Magic requires a three hundred IQ. <laughs> There's a lot of choices. There's a lot of choices, which is pretty pretty cool. We could also just, we could limbo and drop Colossus on the top of the deck and soul strike. Uh, that actually may be it. So what we, yeah. So I think this is what we do. We go limbo. We swap soul strike with Colossus. And then we are going to use, we're going to probably keep to me my X-Men, honestly. I'm going to use beast and soul strike to play soul strike. So deal four damage to dark beast. One, two, three, four. And then we stun Dark Beast. We have to meet my X-Men. Now we'll stand up. So we draw Colossus. Energy. Pixie. One, two, three, four. Five. Top card is Legion. Okay. We got one here. Dark Beast is stunned. First card is attached to a minion. Otherwise, this card gains Surge. Oh, we we got another one of these cruel experiments. Gross. Gladiator. While trial by combat is in play, Gladiator cannot take damage. If trial by combat is in play, so now he's a 3-4-8 with guard. Oh, that's not good. That's bad. That's real bad. Holy cow. Evil Alliance, each nemesis minion in play activates against you. If no mini Oh gosh, we got another Shadows turn one, effectively. Jeez. Alright. Well, that's exciting. The Pixie, which can grab Beast. We can swap Beast and play Beast. But then we don't have anything to. Oh, shoot. Check this out. Okay. Magic's cool. Okay. We're going to go energy to play Pixie. When Pixie enters play from our hand, we get to go grab Beast. We are going to limbo Beast for Legion. And then we're going to use Legion to play to me, my X-Men. I'm going to search the top five. We got Beast, Exorcism, Stepping Disc, Crown, and Summoning Spell. We'll put Beast into play, and then Beast will grab us energy. And then Beast is temporary. Beast leaves play. Now we can play Colossus. Because now we have energy and Soul Sword to play Colossus. And then we'll go two, four, six, Eight to take out Gladiator. That was super, 
super satisfying. I'm not going to lie. That was cool. I guess the top card of our deck is face up. X-Jet. All right, let's stand up. And Colossus didn't take Consequential because he has toughness. X-Jet. Build support. Sorcerer Supreme. Forge. And to me, my X-Men. The combos are real. Oh, and Stepping Disc on the top. Let's go. Because Stepping Disc can then grab Colossus. So we're going to chump. Our Beast comes back to our hand. And... Yeah, to me, my x mening Beast is really good. Because you can throw... Or I'm sorry. To me, my x mening Colossus. You can throw Colossus, activate Colossus. Colossus pops back into your hand. Limbo him to the top of your deck and then pull him out again the next turn. It's pretty cool. Two, four, six, seven. All right. Got one here. Beast is going to attack for two. We'll block with Colossus. Plus two is four. That's going to knock Colossus out. We have to take a damage from Blue Area of the Moon. And then our encounter card is Time Travel Shenanigans. When defeated, the player defeats this game. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until they discard a card from the same set as the setting environment. And it reveals the just discarded card. I didn't even know to me my X-Men gave you an extra card in hand until recently. Yeah, because you pull it back after you draw up to your hand size. Yeah. Yeah. So it kind of it, it pays for half of itself. But then you also get an ally. So Okay. <sighs> How how do we optimize? So I think I want to get build support out. I think I want to get build support out. If I build support... That means that we need to swap... Stepping Disc. I want Stepping Disc because I want to be able to get Colossus to the top of my deck at the start of my next turn. Or at the, at the end of my turn. So if I'm doing that... I also have it to me my X-Men, so I could Beast to me my X-Men again. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go Limbo. Swap Stepping Disc with Beast. Now we have Stepping Disc. Stepping Disc is going to allow us to grab Colossus. Perfect. Let's use Forge to play Build Support. That comes in with three. We're going to use X Jet to play To Me My X Men. Oh, shoot. I'm not going to have enough money to play Stepping Disc. We'll play Beast. Then we will get energy so we're getting there we're getting there but now we have a beast we can take out build support which is nice i'm just gonna do that so i remember so we'll go beast and magic to take out build support actually we'll see what the top card of this deck is it's angel okay so build support clears we're going to go grab Uncanny X-Men. So now each of our X-Men allies costs one less and gets plus one hit points. And we've got Spiritual Meditation on the top of our deck. Let's use our ability to play Spiritual Meditation. We'll draw two and discard one, which is going to be Magic Barrier. Sick. I like Magic and we have stepping just there. We'll go energy to play Sorcerer Supreme. And then we'll use Treskelion to play Stepping Disc. We get to ready our hero, choose a magic card in our discard pile, not named Stepping Disc, and put it on top of our deck. That's going to be Colossus. Magic is ready. We'll go ahead and... We're just going to start punch. I haven't done any damage to Beast, have I? I don't think so, right? Beast should be at 18. 
That was from last game. I'm going to add Attack Beast. I hope they release more X-Men allies for leadership aspect. I, f I assume we will get some, right? Because we have... We didn't get a leadership. No, we did. We did get a leadership. There, Maybe. I think it, there's a slim chance we're getting four more heroes, which would be one of each aspect. So, yeah, we would. We should get some. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to stand up. I'm going to draw Colossus. Stepping disc. Sick. Spiritual meditation. Exorcism. Expansion. Two, four, five. Stepping disc. Beast comes back to our hand. Top card of our deck is Havoc. Limbo will swap Havoc with Colossus. We got new basic ones. True. Yeah. And, and we're getting four more hero packs. And so one of those should be leadership. And so I assume we'll get some there too. Stepping, stepping disc is incredibly good. Yes. 100%. I'm going to add two. Dark Beast is going to attack. Um, interrupt deals the damage to me. Then I'm going to interrupt Colossus. I'm going to use Havoc to play Colossus. He costs only one and we don't have to exhaust, but Dark Beast is going to attack for two, four, which will knock the tough. Is Legion in this deck? Legion is in this deck, yes. Legion's in the deck, yeah. We got a strength on the top. Alrighty. Our encounter card is Trial by Combat. Hinder one. When defeated, shuffle each Imperial Guard minion in the encounter deck discard pile into the encounter deck. Comes with three and an Amplify. Alrighty. Let's use Spiritual Meditation. This is to draw Strength and Scrying. And we will discard. I guess the top card of our deck is a Mental. That's big, actually. Um, Let's toss a Stepping Disc. We do have X on the top of our deck. Let's go ahead and use... Use our ability here to play Exorcism to put Professor X onto the table for one cost. We'll confuse Dark Beast. X will go ahead and thwart down Trial by Combat. Scrying is a great. Scrying is so good. Yeah. One. Shuffling one gladiator back into the deck. Scrying is a really good card. Colossus is going to thwart two here. Let's go scry. Top three cards of our deck. We get to... Uh, draw one, put one on the top of our deck, and discard one. You know, take the crown. We use a strength and a stepping disc to play beast. We'll grab strength. We will play strength to play magic's crown. Since we have a mental, we'll go ahead and thwart two. Beast will attack for two. We have Mansion, which we'll hang on to. Stand up. X should be damaged. Yeah, thank you. I have a bad habit of just adding all the consequential at the end of the game or at the end of the round, which is not how you should do it at all. But thank you. Thank you. <laughs> how am I liking standard three so far? I'm liking it a lot. I really I'm really enjoying it, yeah. Summoning spell is crazy too with magic because you can use limbo to swap a card so you can summon it. Oh my gosh. No, I, I'm very much enjoying standard three. One, two, three, four, five. 
top is gentle. Um, not swapping anything quite yet. We're going to add two. Dark Beast is going to attack. We're going to block it with Axe. He's going to attack for two, four. Interrupt deals us a damage. And knock X out. He seems to love pulling the add three counters. Yeah, yeah, the shadow. <laughs> I've only used standard one, to be honest. I need to branch out. Try try standard three. Standard three does not seem as... Well, it's definitely not as challenging as standard two. Um, so... Okay, we've got Gladiator. He's back. Holy smokes, magic is so cool. Yeah, magic. I'm I'm very 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 much enjoying magic right now. Um, yeah, 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 very much. Stupid Gladiator back. It's annoying. In spiritual meditation, we can get our sword, which is nice. This is off. Let's go ahead and use Bludgeon. Play Bludgeon. We'll go ahead and we're at six. I don't yeah. Let's let's just use summoning spell to play gentle. Top card is now Utopia. There it is. Let's use spiritual meditation. We'll draw Utopia and X-Men Instruction. I guess this card is face... Okay, we'll toss X-Men Instruction. That card is face up regardless, always. So, we should... Yeah. Um. Let's go Limbo. To swap X-Men Instruction with... Armor. Oh, we do have Blood Gym. We do have Blood Gym. Let's use Genius to play Utopia. Let's go two for enough there. And then we are going to right, six. We're going to flip down to Liliana and heal for three. One, two, three. Do I want to go X Men Instruction or X Mansion? If I go X Men Instruction, what do, what can I get? I can get X. That's probably worth it. Just that. And lesion. Yeah, okay. So let's let's go play X-Men Instruction. We'll shuffle Professor X and Legion into the deck. Which we will draw next turn. We have two cards in the deck. Wonder if Domino Ally would work in this deck. She is X-Force. You could you could bring I, th I think Domino and Magic like each other. Maybe not in this deck where we're kind of leaning into the X-Men thing. I am a little sad that we're. This is what's happening here, but like we're gonna shuffle our deck before we lose all these allies. So let's stand up. I'm gonna draw a counter card. Oh, did I just miss the sword? Oh yeah, I, for, somehow I just missed the sword. So nice that Blood Gem is in Hero Luck. Yeah, that, that's the other that's the other nice thing about it being a like a it increases the flexibility, right? We can use Blood Gem as a resource generator in Alter Ego, which is nice. Yeah. Ah. Okay. 
And we got Stepping Disc. We got Stepping Disc, which is huge. We can recur Colossus now. That's awesome. Okay, let's add two here. Dark Beast is going to be confused. We got two encounter cards. War Weary, you are stunned. That's fine. Dark Designs, place one pursue encounter on Pursuit by the Past. Then if it has any counters on it, the villain schemes. What's nice here is that it does not, because we place a Pursuit counter. It has four, so our nemesis is coming out. But he doesn't scheme. So it's like, that's, I think, my favorite thing about Standard 3, is that it doesn't... Um, it, it doesn't necessarily require, or it doesn't necessarily like auto lose you the game on a advance. Okay. So when revealed the Ileana Rasputin player finds limbo, it attaches it to a face down. When the scheme is defeated, put limbo into play under its player's control. After Belasco activates against you, discard the top three cards of your deck. If ruler of limbo is in play, attach those cards face down. So that comes in with three. Because so there's a there's a decent chance that we would have lost the game if that, that was standard one because an advance would be awful there. Alrighty. Well that was kind of exciting. Is there anything I want to do while I'm down here? I don't think so. Uh, potentially play X-Mansion. Angel is free off the top of your deck. <laughs> That's wild. Because Angel reduces his cost. Uncanny reduces his cost. Uh, Magic reduces his cost. Angel, you just play for free off the top of the deck. That's pretty cool. I actually don't know if I care to play X Mansion while I'm down here. I think I'd rather have the flexibility. I'm a card. I need to, I probably need to play X Mansion. Um Kind of funny real quick. Like, I want Colossus to be in my discard pile. So I may actually use Colossus before I flip up. Because right now, Colossus has three health. If I flip up, he has four with Uncanny. So I could actually use Colossus to, like, thwart, knock him out, and then I can stepping disc him back to the top. That's That's kind of funny. Yeah. I think that is what I want to do, though. Um, okay, so Colossus is going to thwart two off of Ruler of Limbo. Which will knock Colossus out. Um, let's flip up to Magic. Top card of the deck is Summoning Spell. Ooh. That's kind of exciting. Um, I think we want to have gentle attack Belasco for three. Want magic to take out ruler of limbo. Then we get limbo back. think we want to use angel to play summoning spell I'm trying to think of all the high cost allies in our deck i don't actually know summoning spell feels a little clunky in this deck doesn't colossus have an extra hp because of uncanny no because when i'm in alter ego i don't have the x-men trait and therefore the uncanny x-men bonus is not active and so that's why I attacked with him before I flipped into hero form. Now that he's in hero form, he would, but he didn't at that time. Um, 
Yeah. Um, okay, so actually what I think I'm going to do is we're going to limbo summoning spell with Professor X. Uh, we are going to magic summoning spell for X. Utopia is going to ready gentle. X is going to confuse dark beast. Gentle needs to have gentle is going to attack and take out Belasco. X and Beast are going to take here. I like this game. To me, my X bin. So much value. So much value. It's it's actually insane. Let's use Legion to play Stepping Disc. It's a ready. And then we're going to put... Colossus on the top of the deck. We'll use Blood Gym. Take two damage, Mystical Armor to play X Mansion. So we were able to get Mansion out. Uh, we will attack to remove some. And let's stand up. Yeah, it feels like her turns are just so, like, so crazy. We got Colossus, to me, my X-Men, Soul Strike, X-Men Instruction, Spiritual Meditation, Scrying, top card of the deck is a genius. Um, I am going to limbo. I think, I think there's no reason to me not limboing Colossus to the top of the deck. And there we go. But I don't know if I'm going to use Colossus's ability, right? There's actually, I'd rather just block with X. I don't have to use the ability. It just gives me a wild here. And if I get a second attack, I can then throw a Colossus in. Or I can just play Colossus for one with a toughness and get a free activation out of him. So throw two here. X is going to block the attack of two. We take a damage. Uh, plus two. There goes X. Then our encounter card is Witchfire. Quick strike. After Witchfire attacks and defeats an ally, you place one threat on Ruler of Limbo. Otherwise, place one threat on the main scheme. Um, at this point, this is where we'll do this. We will go... Spiritual Meditation to play Colossus. And block this attack and knock the toughness and there's soul sword okay now it's our turn i'm having a lot of fun with colossus or with with magic she's she's very very thinky um Let's go X-Men Instruction to play Soul Sword. Top card is X-Jet. Let's scry. We got X-Jet, Exorcism, and Spiritual Meditation. We're going to take Spiritual Meditation, toss Exorcism, place X-Jet on the top. We're going to spirit. We're gonna play Spiritual Meditation. We're going to draw X-Jet. Pixie, top card is Treskelion. Man, I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find. Uh, um. Oh shoot! No, we're fine now though. Let's uh, let's toss to me my X Men. Look at that board state. Let's go. And then check this out. And have Beast attack here for two. Beast is gonna go over there. Colossus is going to take out Witchfire. Genius will play Pixie. No, we don't have to play. We don't have to use Genius for Pixie. Uh, health is... Health is tough. Oh my gosh. This game is sick. Let's go... 
X Jet for Pixie, which will pull Beast back to our hand. And Ready Colossus. Actually, we're going to attack with Magic for two. One, two. And we're going to Ready Magic. Okay. Now... We're going to use Genius Blood Gym, one, two, to play Beast. Beast enters play. We're actually going to search our deck for a resource card, which is going to be Energy. Mainly, it shuffles the deck. And if we can get a physical or a mental on the top of the deck, then we're good. I left the strength in there because then that also is another card that could be a physical. Top card is now a mental, so... Uh, we do have two thwart though, so that's nice. Um, I was actually, I was really, I was really hoping for a physical because of soul strike. That's right. I, yeah. Uh, I used Utopia. Magic will go ahead and thwart two here. Uh, ooh, actually, you know what? We could go ahead and take out the time travel shenanigans. Because we have kind of the board state to take care of it. So let's leave. No, it doesn't matter. We're just going to leave it. Um, we'll thwart two there. Gentle will go ahead and hit Dark Beast for three. One, two, three. That's going to knock Gentle out. Pixie and Beast will hit for four. One, two, three, four. We've got two and one. He's down to five. We do have not have retaliate yet. We'll energy for a soul strike to deal four. One, two, three, four. And we'll stand up. Got spiritual meditation. Stepping disc. Heck yeah. Stepping disc. Heck yeah. Magic barrier. X-Men instruction. And strength. This is a really thinky hero. Holy cow. I'm going to limbo. Actually, the top card of the deck is Treskelion. I don't think there's any reason to limbo right now. Um... I'm going to take the hit with Colossus because of Stepping Disc. I can then put Colossus back on top of the deck. Um, and I can just Limbo later. Sweet. So we got two here. Beast is going to attack. We're going to block with Colossus. If Ruler of Limbo is in play, place two threat on it. It is not. That actually does not kill Colossus, ironically enough. So Colossus is not dead. That kind of that that ruins that plan, I guess. Oops. Oh well. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's a little funny. Um, okay, we've got uh, Warstar. Discard uh, the top card of the encounter deck. If that card has an Imperial Guard minion, reveal it. Otherwise, resolve the special ability on the setting environment. It is not, so we will take a damage. I need to heal. Okay, let's spiritual meditation, draw Treskelion, exorcism, top card of the deck is soul strike. Uh, perfect, actually, yeah. Oh, but he has guard. Shoot. That's fine, that's fine. Um, we're discarding a card. We're going to be discarding magic barrier. Let's use Limbo to swap Soul Strike and Stepping Disc. Yeah. Magic will throw two here. Beast will throw two. And Pixie will throw two. It's going to knock out our guard minion. 
we are going to play stepping disc from the top of our deck to ready magic. Oh, but Colossus, shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, I guess we'll put magic barrier on top. Villain has one health. Ah, oh, that that messes with everything. That messes with all of the things. Heh. <laughs> nice. Uh, I guess. Yeah, we'll go magic barrier here. Yeah, might as well, right? And then we will push Dark Beast into the Shadow Realm. And then he becomes a 3-2 with 22. And reveal a random set aside. That even odd. Odd. Go into the Savage Lands. Five, six, seven. Uh, and then we have to deal us an encounter card. Okay. I was like, what is that? Cool. Okay, so we are going to get an encounter card. He's at 22. We have three health. We need to be careful about that. Um, let's go ahead and use Strength to Soul Strike um, to deal four, one, two, three, four, and stun. Exorcism will play Stepping Disc, which will stand us up, and then we can Choose a magic card in your discard pile. Oh, we have to do it. That's interesting. That's less than desirable, I guess. Um, I guess we'll go Soul Strike. Oh, wait. Hold on. No, that stepping disc is a hero action. Just kidding. We'll attack 4-2. One, two. We will flip down to Alter Ego, which will take out Colossus. But we'll play X-Men Instruction to shuffle Colossus into the deck, as well as Pixie. Because then we can get Beast again, right? Wait. No, Beast is right there. Yeah. And then we get to draw a card. me my x-men uh we will x mansion to heal ourselves for one take us up to four we'll play to me my x-men for trust galleon i guess and we'll stand up feeling good Alrighty, we got x-men instruction magic barrier forge havoc to me my x-men Colossus, two, four, six. All righty. I'm going to add two threat here. Dark Beast is confused. We've got our first encounter card, Dark Child. We can flip to Alter Ego, deal one damage to each character control, and discard this obligation, or exhaust and remove it from the game. Takes Beast out, which is annoying, I guess, but... I kind of needed to heal. That's I'm gonna exhaust and remove it from the game. Next card is Evil Genius. Give Dark Beast or Dark Beast schemes. Give him a tough status card. He's gonna scheme for three. Attach this card to Dark Beast. Up to seven, and he gets a tough. That's kind of fine though. Okay. Alrighty, so let's use. He's at 16. 
He's at 16. I'm trying to figure out how much I can push. Um, or do I need to... I can play it a little bit safer. Let's go ahead and thwart two here. It's going to knock Beast there. X-Men Instruction. We'll go Beast and... Gentle. We'll go X. Shuffle those in, and then we get to draw a card. Which is X. Alrighty. We'll go X Mansion to heal, our, heal ourselves for one. We will flip up to magic, and we will. Stepping Disc is not a spell. That's sad. I mean, it's fair, but I'm not going to do anything. We got Beast on the top of the deck. All righty. All right, so we've got a beast there. Yeah, let's just go ahead and use Forge to play it to me, my X-Men. We got Beast, Magic Barrier, Soul Strike, and Pixie. We'll play Beast. We'll go ahead and grab a Strength into our hand. Top card is now Pixie who is free if we play her from the top of the deck and could get us another card. That's probably worth it. Let's go ahead and use magic. Oh, actually, Utopia is going to ready magic when we play beast. We're going to use magic's ability to play Pixie. We'll go get a X-Men from our discard pile and add it to our hand. Just going to be gentle. She can ramp so fast. Top card of the deck is Soul Strike. Oh, perfect, actually. Because, well, he's already stunned. Never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and Limbo Soul Strike for Colossus. And then we will attack Pierce 3. 1, 2, 3. We'll go Strength for X, which will ready magic. We'll attack for three more. One, two, three. We'll go two, four. One, two, three, four. X will thwart down here. He's got six. I'm like so close. <laughs> um, you got Havoc, Magic Barrier to play Soul Strike, which will deal four. One, two, three, four. And then I have Gentle and Blood Gem. Alrighty, we'll stand up. He's at two health. Colossus, magic barrier, and counter card. Top card of the deck is a To Me My X-Men. We will go ahead and Limbo To Me My X-Men for Colossus. And here we go. We've got two. Dark Beast is stunned. Just survived this turn, right? 
Sim, guard. If ruler of Limbo is in play, place two threat on it. Guard is annoying. And the Velociraptor, quick strike. When the Velociraptor attacks you, discard the top card of your deck. It's plus one attack for this attack for each resource icon discarded this way. Uh, we will... Magic Barrier Colossus for the defense there. When you he attacks, you discard the top card of your deck. Wait, that... No, shoot. That's a force interrupt. This is an interrupt. So we do have to discard this card. So he gets plus one. So we'll just take the two. The timing didn't really work out there. Yeah. But now we have... I guess, actually... We'll block it with X. Yeah. They actually, actually, they don't have, this guy has guard, but this guy doesn't. So we just have to take out him. So, oh, we already used Limbo. No. Uh, let's go ahead and play to me, my X-Men. One, two, three, four, five. Put Angel into play. Top card is Stepping Disc. Um, Magic, Angel, Pixie will take out the guard. And then Beast will take out Dark Beast. Which is Beast taking out Dark Beast. Let's go. I, I like Magic. I'm, I I like both of these. These heroes are both really fun. I think Bishop is a little bit more surprising to me, but Magic has been... I just like the sequencing of what Magic can do is right up my alley in terms of the, the play style that I enjoy. I like Dark Beast too. Dark Beast is a really... Dark Beast is, feels like a really good like testing villain on him almost. Or to be fair, like he's, he's pretty good. Alrighty, I will be back on Thursday, assuming my house is still here. Um, <laughs> but I will be back on Thursday. We're going to be playing just more Magic and Bishop. We'll be playing them in the other aspects as well. So make sure to check out Thursday. At, sorry, hiccup. 10 a.m. That's when we'll be back. But until then, hope everyone stays safe and has a fantastic kind of middle of the week. I like Magic fine, but compared to Bishop, she feels kind of like doing my tech. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. Thank you all so very much. See you around. Peace.